Good morning, friends and neighbors. Morning, Leroy. Wear a mask. Lit up like a Christmas tree. November the 12th, 5 a.m. It's cold. Folks, keep your minds off that sordid affair of General Petraeus. Reason being, a good cover-up story doesn't work unless you can take your mind off the subject. Benghazi, Fort Ed, question. My question would be, who gave that order to Ty Woods? Not once, but three times. Stand down. Well, we don't stand down here in America. We stand up. Might get you killed, but we still stand up, not down. Now then, kind of fishy. But if you remember back, well, let's go back to 2009 when uh, Senator Hillary was a senator. Now, remember that uh, little episode there on Capitol Hill? It was in the news for a couple of months, so-called news. That's where she got to interview the general about the uh, Iraqi war. She was against that war. Anything had to do with it. And she said, her little slur was, General Betraeus, not General Petraeus, show, stands to reason, the Obama-Clinton administration might just say, let's throw that general under the bus, Run over him both wheels, put it four-wheel drive, and hit reverse. Something's funny as hell, folks. There's something going on. A few days before he gets to testify, he all of a sudden becomes a fall guy. Now, he did say, and I saw it on TV news, CIA did not in any way refuse help. Well, somebody did. And now that he's not a general no more, well, he's still a general, but not the head of the CIA no more, he can plead the fifth, drink the fifth, and plead the other one. Just something to think about. Well, we got four dead heroes three months later, and nobody knows what the hell happened. And it don't look like we're going to know any time in the future. Who's heard of anything about Fast and Furious lately? They call that a cover-up, and they took our minds off of it, didn't they? Not mine, but they took a lot of minds off of it. On 9-11, now this is the first one. A huge hurricane set 20 miles off the coast of New York. Hmm. Suddenly, that afternoon, it took right and left the area. Now, lately, we've been seeing the NASCAR hurricanes, you know, turn left. They're turning left again. You can get up, go have a sandwich, come back. They're turning left again, folks, coming out of turn one. Anyway, not trying to make fun of NASCAR. I kind of enjoy NASCAR, but uh, give you an example of what might be going on. Let's get back to what's going on up there, Leroy. What do you think? Man, it's pretty, pretty serious. Ooh, where'd that one come from? Now, let's say that General Petraeus does testify, but let's say that he testifies the truth. Maybe that's why he wanted all this to come out, to be resigned, get it off his mind, and just happen to be that he is a better man than we think he is. That he is going to tell the truth and he will testify. And just maybe they don't want him to. Well, the order went down, folks. Stand down three times. Navy SEAL hero, dead. Buddy, dead. Ambassador, dead. Four dead. 
God bless America. May God continue to bless the United States of America. Don't know how much longer that's going to last, but... Y'all have a great day. Keep praying for the folks after the aftermath of uh, FEMA. Or, I mean, Sandy. The storm. FEMA's even worse storm, looks like. Closed the office. I could not believe I saw that sign. Closed the office of FEMA. I will give Bush one thing. He put the National Guard in there and they went door to door. These idiots ain't put nobody in charge, it don't look like, except uh, some goon named Napolitano with a damn clipboard driving around. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Yep. Keep praying, because they need all the prayers they can get. Sure lined up, ain't they, Leroy? Whoa! I love the way they disappear. May God continue to bless the United States of America and everybody deserves it. Y'all have a great day. That was something. We'll hang around for just a minute. A few seconds later, nothing. 